Take a breeze. Jacob Rees was a Danish immigrant that became famous campaigner against slum housing and created the concept of flash photography. He was born on May 3, 1849 and died on May 26, 1914. Rees was the third of 15 children and he came to America in 1870 when he was 21 years old. Reese worked as a carpenter in the U.S., but the financial panic of 1873, he experienced unemployment firsthand. This experience led Reese to feel empathy for New York City's poor immigrants. The poor immigrants of New York lived in the slums. There were blocks and blocks of tenements that housed the working poor immigrants of the city. The immigrant groups included Italians, Irish, Jews, Germans, Chinese, and Czechs. The tenements were generally windowless and about 10 square feet in size. Whole families lived in these tenements and the conditions were very poor. Reese began writing for the newspaper, The New York Evening Sun. He was considered to be a muckraking journalist. Reese entered a dark tenement on the Upper East Side of New York City, accompanied by a policeman, and photographed the people living in the slum. To make the photograph appear, Reese had to use flash photography. Reese ignited a mixture of magnesium and potassium chlorate powder. A flash would soon explode. This picture became public, and Reese wanted the world to know how bad these slums really were. eventually created a book, How the Other Half Lives. This book contained numerous pictures of slums. Reese believed in Protestant philanthropy and self-restraint of ethical landlords was the best remedy for this issue, not the government. In conclusion, Jacob Rees greatly influenced health regulations in New York City, saving lives and improving housing conditions for all.